at this indoor garden in Abu Dhabi, they are growing fruit trees from all over the world. It's also a laboratory for a group of scientists from the nearby Technology Innovation Institute who are conducting research into the use of nanodrones in agriculture. This is it. This is it. This is, it is normal for me to be excited about this nanodrone? Yes, because I'm very excited about it too. <laughs> yes. So this is a nanodrone. One of the type that we are working on in our lab. It has a processor on board, it has a camera, and we can build our software and make it fly autonomously and perform. Using these tiny flying computers, these scientists are training it to perform several tasks. What we are trying to achieve here is to make the environmental monitoring and the plant monitoring autonomous and more smart. What we do is we take these little tiny drones that are like in the size of a hand and we let them fly around the plants so they can measure at any point, any height, any angle, any type of um, environmental sensor reading. The emergence of artificial intelligence has come at a pivotal moment in their research. Today, they are teaching the nanodrone to recognize different objects, like identifying certain fruits. Using AI and computer vision, it's able to recognize that this is a banana. What kind of information is it gathering as we, as we see? So most of all, it's gathering images. So then you can feed it into an AI that can tell you, oh, it's ripe, we can pick the, the, the plants. And also it is checking for your plant diseases. So you can see on the leaves, right, if the plant has any disease or if maybe it doesn't have enough water. So that's image-based. And then also along with that, we have some environmental sensors. So it's also collecting information about the air quality, the temperature, the humidity in the place. And how quickly can you get this deployed? Well, we are right now having our first prototype flying. We have to train our AI and build it in a way that it can understand, okay, this strawberry is doing well, this is ready to harvest, this has some problems, but I think we target that we can have a first prototype proof of concept flying in spring next year.